Hello, I'm Evan Brand, Certified Functional Medicine Practitioner and Board Certified Holistic Nutritionist, talking with you today about blue light toxicity. Now, everyone is exposed to blue light. We've got our phones, our TVs, our tablets, our laptops, our monitors, our bulbs, including the LED bulbs, which are the newest and latest and greatest light bulbs, which contain a lot of blue light. Now, we're going to talk about why we're seeing such a sharp increase in various types of cancers. We've got breast cancer, we've got ovarian cancer, we've got prostate cancers, and we've got massive, massive obesity. More than two out of every three people in the United States are obese. Why is that? There's many, many factors, but one of the biggest and least discussed issues is blue light toxicity. So specifically, we're talking about a particular wavelength here 400 to 530 nanometers. Now it depends on who you ask on what's going to be the most dangerous spectrum in terms of blue light, but generally if you look at a chart of the various colors in our visible light spectrum, typically it's somewhere in the 4 to 500 nanometer range, which can be effectively blocked out using a blue blocker or even a red colored type of glasses that we'll talk about in another video that actually filters out these lights effectively. So basically, here's what happens. I'm outside right now getting exposed to sunlight. My eyes have photoreceptors in them, just as well as your eyes do, and you're picking up on light. Now, when this sunlight is coming into my eyes, it's triggering the production of cortisol because it's daytime and I need to be up and having adequate levels of cortisol to get me through the day. Think of it as a smartphone battery. You always freak out if you start your day and your battery's at 20%. Well, I'm basically charging myself by using the sun to initiate this response via the photoreceptors in the eyes. So this is how it comes in. It hits the retina, then it goes to this part of the brain called the supracosmatic nucleus or the SCN. Now this is a tiny, tiny little wing-like part of the brain that's actually inside the hypothalamus, which is also a relatively small part of the brain. Then through a long process. The signal gets sent over here to your pineal gland, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny gland that secretes melatonin. This is your 24-hour clock. Now the important thing to remember is that when we're exposed to blue light at nighttime, we're throwing off this whole rhythm. We're picking up light when we're not supposed to at nighttime because we're on our phones, TVs, tablets, laptops, monitor screens, and bulbs, our LED bulbs, or any other type of bulb that has blue light. We're getting that light signal at night. So we're telling this whole system here, it's daytime. What happens? You get the suppression of melatonin. Now in the beginning, I talked about low melatonin being linked to breast, ovarian, prostate, and other types of cancers. There's plenty of research, and I'll link some of that below, that nighttime nurses, for example, have a much higher rate of breast cancer. Their circadian rhythm's completely thrown off. They're in a hospital setting, under fluorescent lighting, which is a massive source of blue light, therefore suppressing melatonin. Melatonin is not just a sleep hormone, melatonin fights cancer. Now here's a little process that T.S. Wiley elaborates on in her book called Lights Out, which is one of the best books on this subject. And here's how she wrote it. It's going to be tiny, so you probably can't read it, but I'll read it for you. Long days, so this is artificial light at night. Long days means that winter is coming. If winter is coming, then we need to store our body fat. If we need to store our body fat for winter so we don't freeze to death, then we become obese. So basically, we're not getting to see fall. We're not getting to see winter. There's a bunch of robins fighting over here. The joy of being outside. When we have these long days, we're never getting fall and we're never getting winter. And this is the real issue here. So this is Evan Brand signing out. We'll talk more about this in another video, but this is going to be the intro to a bigger discussion and maybe a full one-hour podcast on this topic, which I've done in the past. Take care. Bye-bye.